Hey, YouTube. Okay, I think I mentioned on a, another vlog that the turmeric product I was taking may have contributed to a flare because I had found there's added uh, black pepper, like piperine, to the product. Now, this is supposed to literally, like, it's an abrasive internally, so it takes off the layer, uh, like the epithelial layer of the intestines so that the turmeric can be absorbed. So if you already have ulcers or sensitive intestines, taking that product would be a disaster. So um, I found something that, it's funny, They other people, people with regular guts would say is a cheap product because it doesn't have pippery. And they'd say, oh, this doesn't, this won't be absorbed, etc. cetera. Great. Uh, so it has the other things too. They're awesome. The Boswellia, which is that frankincense I was introduced or recommended by a holistic doctor. And that outside of prednisone, actually, I think is even more effective than prednisone. Um, yeah, Boswellia serrata extract, MSM. This is methyl sulfonyl, sulfonyl methane, chondroitin sulfate, glucosamine sulfate, turmeric, hyaluronic acid. This is like a little bit, 25 milligrams. I don't like it because it has, sorry. I don't like it because it has, you know, calcium carbonate, magnesium stearate, flavorless coating, yellow number five, red number 40, blue number one. You don't even, I don't even want to get into what I read about what these colors are made from, but let's just say it rhymes with babies. Um, it's crazy. That's a great product, and let's see, was there another one I started taking? Oh yeah, let me grab this NAC and NAD. <clears throat> okay, I might have taken all of my NAC, the N-acetylcysteine, and that's that product that helps uh, inflammation in the lungs, and. People were concerned about it getting banned uh, because obviously it would compete with uh, government treatments for COVID, et cetera. So um, this is NAD. I mean, what would it compete with any big pharma treatment? Because these are natural. This like these things, N-acetylcysteine, um, and nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide exist. They exist in the body. Um, so, you know, people will say like, well, it's still in conjecture whether this is really an effective supplement. Um, I'll tell you, I liked NAC because I could tell it was working, but how I could tell it was working is it was causing stuff to come up from my lungs. So it's a cleansing agent. Um, nicotinamide, nicotinamide, I'm not saying that right, adenine dinucleotide and trimethylglycine as well as phosphatidylcholine, great are all that's in this product. There's no colors, etc. cetera. Uh, vegetable glycerin and gelatin, and that's fine. So, okay, this is not a precursor. This increases NAD level, asterisk. Uh, increasing this is said to be like an anti-ager. It mimics fasting and, uh, you know, slowing down, or not slowing down cellular respiration, but uh, I guess, Think of it like just having less byproducts produced in metabolism uh, to mimic eating less food. Uh, in a sense, like if you're eating really bad food and you don't have antioxidants in it, then say it's like uh, more toxic for your body than a meal that it that comes with its own antioxidants and kind of like will digest itself, let's say, and like won't cause byproducts or breakdowns of odd franken chemicals in the body. Um, so, you know, that's the argument of real food versus fake food, but yeah, I haven't taken this long enough to tell you exactly how I like it or like, uh, oh yes, a month of this did X, Y, and Z. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll do a whole different vlog related to this, but I think I'm also scared to take it every day, uh, just because I was taking the NAC and kind of taking a lot of things at the same time. I still can't tell if you know, the one of which of the three prescriptions I got on at the same time is helping my ulcerative colitis stay at bay because at this point I haven't been sick and it feels like half a decade. That's amazing.
I was getting, historically, I was getting sick every winter. Like, as soon as it got cold, it felt like uh, uh, maybe my body just didn't handle that stress. Stress, that's another thing. Oh, man, I should do a whole video on handling stress because really that's when the flares come. Um, you know, and your body is outputting adrenaline, cortisol in higher ratio to your noradrenaline or calming chemicals. Um, I actually had a, a, I was almost assaulted on set yesterday, not by anybody from the show. It was, we were just out on location in Westwood. Westwood used to be a nice part of LA. Uh, this random guy kicking a football, bat, soccer ball against the wall, Barney's Beanery, is already told by the cops to like stop, but you know, uh, he just had a rage and he like either just snapped or was looking to snap and he found me. I was like a dummy sitting outside the group alone reading a book. So I was an easy target and he ended up like kind of pinning me against a wall and I had to like kind of step out sideways and like call for the security. So, you know, these things like elevate your stress, but like you kind of have to ugh, just water off the back because how's, how's that, how's that fool going to like affect my cortisol and like cause me to also rate when like he's the imp, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, maybe a whole vlog related to stress in um, cities where people are just, I mean, not to be like a victim, but you know what I'm saying? Like you just, like you're not doing anything and something happens. Somebody snaps around you and you're the witness who becomes the target. Um, it's very interesting in cities now. I actually kind of avoid going into town. I live outside of LA, thank God. Um, very safe area. So, yeah, maybe a whole video related to just avoiding stress when you go shopping, you have to deal with people, or if you know you have toxic people in your life or something. And take your B vitamins in the meantime for those stress levels. So I don't know why I'm sitting all lopsided. My chair is super comfortable. Any angle I sit in it. Anyways, I hope you can find these guys. I'm sure something like this without the peppering. Arazo Nutrition. This seems great. Like, you know, it's not making me nauseous. No side effects, nothing like that. That's Orga Bay. That seems like a good company. Made in the UK. Okay, guys, uh, this is long. Thanks for entertaining me.